This is where the main cooling fan outlet is. You can see the uh, cooling fins in there. There are some secondary sources, the air inlets here and here. And also, the speaker's not much good, so we're just gonna cover it up. We're mostly working, worried about high frequency noise, so all you really need is something that's moderately dense and structurally stiff to hold its shape. But I also made it so that we have overlap. This will be more transmission loss, specifically in the direction of the audience. Then on the other side, this being the front of the projector, I've got the opening for the air and a flap to close off the end. I want to be careful to size these baffles so we're not significantly decreasing the cross-sectional area of the flow. I don't know what kind of fan is in the projector, but you don't want to create excessive back pressure on the fan that the fan can't handle, and then it has issues with performing the cooling that it's supposed to. Okay, now we have our tortuous path created. The sound will have to travel around both of these baffles before it goes out, and that will give it many opportunities to interact with absorption that I'm going to put on several places along the silencer length. So I stole a few scraps of foam from the office, and I have no idea what the absorption coefficient for any of this material is, but it's foam and I'm confident it'll absorb in the high frequencies that I care about. Finally, we want to make sure that we have a good seal around this connection to the projector. So this silencer did work. Uh, it worked by itself, but it wasn't as much as I want. You could still hear the fans. You've got a couple different things happening. Prominent source is probably these other vent openings, other locations. We can't put a silencer on all of them. So instead, I'm going to put an enclosure around the entire piece of equipment. So if you look at your barrier calculations for attenuation, you don't just want to block the line of sight from your source but you want your barrier to extend beyond your source. So I'm just using an old shoe box. So I'm going to fit this extra layer of cardboard along the back end of the projector. This will do a couple things. It'll increase the transmission loss of this partition right here. It will also help seal up the open holes along the corners on the back side. There is also the possible path of structure borne noise. It's extremely unlikely, but I'm going to put down a rubber layer here. I would like to seal this off completely all the way around, but we actually need a good bit of airflow for the inlets. Thank you. 